Welcome back. We're here to cover your update for the week. Now, the first energy I did have coming through for Divine Feminine was really some, it was almost like occult wisdom, but definitely it was, it was, I was sensing there was something to do with your perception of your twin flame path that you were really coming up against at this point in time, especially as we both look at the crowning and the past position. Um, this does feel for some of you almost like you're facing the dark, but it's through the dark you're actually coming through the light. And as we looked at past position, I'm noticing almost like a hermit mode energy, um, but it's almost like by going into your intuition, you're going to gain clarity. Um, you also could have gone into hermit mode and you've been really internalizing things and trying to reflect upon what to do from here. Um, in the heart of it, you still may feel very well at the beginning of this month that you are not completely sure. And, and that is going to be um, very natural, I would say. Uh, we are just moving out of the shadow energy of Mercury direct. Um, it is in the house of Leo. We also are having Uranus and Taurus moving retrograde. So as you may set the stage for this month, and be thinking that you're moving in a particular direction, what you can find is it can change. Is that bad? No. Again, I do feel going into the dark to find the light. I feel you're going to need courage and conviction. I also feel you are going to come up with the judgment and judgment is going, going to go in your favour, but you're going to be very cautious about how you proceed forward. To a degree, some of you could be feeling as though there is a shedding of a circumstance, there is an ending of a circumstance. There is this rebirth, but again, it's almost like you could be either A, aware of something that needs to end. Or this can be on your side of the fence, Divine Feminine, because I'm actually noticing um, the serpent surrounding um, the golden energy on the crown of three skulls. It's death and rebirth. Hmm. I also feel that, you know, this has really taken a toll on you. For some of you, you can be feeling that the only change that is required is on divine masculine side, but it feels like um, your guides are showing me there is something on your side of the fence um, where you directly are going through a shift. This shift could be something that you are internally feeling you need to do. This also could be towards your twin flame path. And also because of a chain of events that are set to happen in the first week. Your outcome card does feel positive and it feels although, you know, it's almost like a hindsight. This, this wisdom that you're going to have from the past, trusting your instincts and guiding you, taking time to reflect upon circumstances, is really going to lead you to your destination where it comes to your outcome. Okay, what do we need to know about the perception of the situation? What current challenges is Divine Feminine facing in the first week of September? Okay, there's two areas. This could be to do with Divine Feminine not feeling valued. Um, being very strict on themselves and turning their ship around. But also this could be that basically because of the way another has reacted towards you, it has caused you now to make choices. Yeah, and this is where they're saying, you know, you, you, something is shifting on the other person's side here, but your perception is very cemented. Even though there could be some circumstances that you see in the weeks coming, that shake-ups are happening, but you're believing that nothing is changing. Whoa, these are jumping out now. Okay, a third-party situation appears to be causing issues. Um, you could have also felt that some of these circumstances were hidden from you in the past. 
This could have been some interferences. It doesn't have to be a toxic karmic. It could just be an interference of some description. Some blockages. Um, going in and out where things weren't merging. I deeply feel your faith in this individual to ascend. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of withering. Ascension is one of those things where you can't really avoid. Um, yeah, it's it's nothing that can be avoided. So rest assured this person will ascend, <laughs> be it they want to or not. Okay. I do see this person wanting to come towards you. I do see this person wanting to come with an olive leaf. I also see this judgment that is going to be made. It's really going to come down to you. It's almost like the ball is going to be in your court. You're also being very selective of your circle at this point in time. Yeah. Share frustration, I feel. This could be something that divine feminines that are in communication communicate. It almost feels like both parties here are in the thick of it. Very much pondering on each other. Okay, what is this death and rebirth situation in Divine Feminine's life? For some of you, it can be how you allow the individual to show up in your life. For others, it can be a changing circumstance surrounding work. Oh, gosh. I'm hearing, oh, God. So weird. Okay, it's something I have to mention. Um, for some of you, there could have been a path you ventured down. Uh, this can play out two ways because I, I am showing a healing going on towards a past relationship. Could it be a soulmate or a karmic? Yes. Could it be a most recent liaison? Yes. There also appears to be that we have divine masculine here as well. <clears throat> and so this it's almost like a third-party energy could be playing out for divine feminine. Um, this could come in the shape and form of divine feminine deciding that they wish to move forward and divine masculine shows up. Um, this also can be your thought process of, Whenever you get your life together and you start moving down a particular direction, um, there's a shake-up and um, things go back to square one. And this can be a real concern, but there is a unity energy coming through here. There is going to be an offer um, for Divine Feminine, and this feels something quite solid. I feel you may get more than you bargained for. Um, this ultimately is going to be your happiness. Yeah, there is an offer. There is an offer here. And I feel it's going to be up to Divine Feminine what they want to do with it. I just, I get this very instinctual feeling. Um, some of you could be having nightmares. You could be having circumstances where you're looking at your twin flame path and feeling, gee, you know, I'm having to really face the shadow. Am I actually walking this path alone? Is this cycle actually over? You know, sometimes we can even ask if we are twin flames. Um, I do feel you have the occult wisdom. So there is this notion that signs, synchronicities and messages coming to you. But the other subject matter that's playing out, especially as you look to the past, it's almost by isolating yourself, you've had some time for introspection and um, reflection. I feel as we're moving into the month of September, 
out of Mercury shadow, I, I do get that you will have more direction. Your perspective of this could feel a little bit heavy initially. I do feel it's going to dissipate and I do think some options are coming for you, but it will be ultimately you that decides. But if you can move through this vibration this week, I do see two roads for you and it is going to be down to you what you pick. We will check in with this energy next week and see how this energy is transitioning. If you do want a private booking, pay attention to the screen and it gives you all the info of what we have coming up and on offer.